We saw a phenomenal opportunity to penetrate a multi-billion dollar world market for luxury vehicles with something that's really transformative. You call it an opportunity, I think a lot of people would call it a challenge because that's, that's one of the industries that's maybe the most impervious to, to sort of newcomers. Well, there's been a reason for that because newcomers need an angle and that angle is the miniaturization of an electric powertrain which creates the opportunity to create a vehicle which is more compact on the outside with significantly more space on the inside to a transformative effect. So we see four mega trends. We see the proliferation of the electric car, that car being highly connected. We see the social phenomenon of ride sharing, and we see the advent of autonomous driving. And we see all those four stars aligning. And we think that Lucid Air is unique in that it's a platform which is so well suited for those four mega trends. This is our executive seat package. So this is meant to mimic more a executive um, experience or even a, a, a private jet. You know, that's been a big inspiration. Can't say I've ever experienced that, yeah, but this so is what it, I imagine it, it feels like. It's quite unique. <laughs> and I see that panel in the middle, the far lower right hand, right side button. Yeah. Uh, oh, right. Yeah, there. there you go. Press that. Now you're going to go into full recline oh. mode. Oh, that's comfortable. I could easily sleep. I've yeah. been up since 4 a.m. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> to have that kind of recline experience in such a compact car, you know, that this is a car that's roughly the size of an Audi A6 or an E-Class Mercedes, but yet we have this kind of interior space, and that's really only possible through how we've laid out the vehicle. It's much more compact packaging than an internal combustion vehicle. Once you open the door, the vehicle's sort of ready to go and it greets you, right? We have this four screen array. By having this much screen real estate, we can spread things out and keep things clean and use lots of negative space so that you know like where to go for information. It doesn't look too busy or cluttered. The instrument cluster is mostly designated for information that you need to make decisions about driving the car. But it's also an area that we've dedicated to autonomous driving and ADOS sensor feedback mm. because that's becoming more and more important to the safe operation of the vehicle. We've aggressively adapted virtual reality in the design process. It becomes a, a really useful tool for saving time. Yeah. And it gives you a much better feeling of, of what the car is going to be like in real life than what you would have just looking on the screen. So as a result, I can try more variations in the design, see if I like it or don't like it, and, and and we save that time at the same, at the same time. So it's That's a big, cool. big help. Even though we talk a lot about Lucid Air being about the, the passenger experience, we still want the driving experience to be one that's amazing and um, ultra, ultra competitive. Is there compromise inherent in trying to make a vehicle that is driver friendly but also addresses those trends? That is the remarkable aspect of this, quite perplexing for me. As an engineer, I'm used to compromise. Right. It's either driver experience or riding experience. With Lucid Air, we really have managed to solve this age-old paradox. And to add to that, we've uh, incorporated active suspension into the car, which really solves the, the age-old compromise between ride and handling. By using these key technologies and these key functions to create a different aesthetic that is still looks like a car, mm -hmm. you know, as a designer it's important for me to try to stretch the consumer as far as I can. Right. I also don't want the consumer to have to explain to their neighbor, why'd you buy that? <laughs> you know, it, it, it's got to still have an element of beauty and, and taste that is, is um, relevant, but pulling towards Beyond. the future.